Hello everybody, welcome back to the Midlands Outdoor channel. Wow, it's absolutely beautiful this morning. You can just see the sun shining through the window, just about there. I've been up about six o'clock this morning trying to fix my side rusher e-bike. It's actually going really great. So let's go and check out the progress and see what's going on. So here we are, this is the side rusher commoder. So you can just see I've had a punch on the back wheel. So I've changed the inner tube and what I'm going to do now is get the wheel back onto the, the back area there. I've been up about 6 o'clock this morning trying to get this bike fixed. It's took me a long, long time. And I'll show you what's happened to my mum's one as well. It's actually burst right away at the back. So I'm going to use the rest of the donation money to get better tyres. So I'm saving up a little bit. So in a couple of weeks or so, I'm going to get a big tyre change on both bikes. So when I do that, I might do a video on it to show people. But it's really took all morning. So there is going to be some slight changes in video plans. Because I've been up since about not only 6 o'clock, but I've been up about 3 o'clock. So, uh, oh my god, guys, it's took ages to get this bike done. And here we go, the side rusher Komoda is ready to go. So, right, we're nearly at Dodford. It's absolutely warm today. You can just see the sunshine beaming all the way down. It's that warm, I've never had to do this, but I've had to take shelter just to have a little bit of a break. I might have a drink now, actually. So, I'm really glad I didn't really go and do that walking today. What I was going to do, I think Wednesday has got to be a little bit cooler than what it is today, so it might be perfect for it. But it's absolutely sweltering. I can't wait to get to Dodford, there's tons of history down there. But you see, I've showed this bit before you've got the pepper woods right away at the back. It's also a nice wooden to go if you've never been. But wow, got a little bit of a journey to go, so not too far. So, here we are, guys, I've actually made it. Dodford, a place where I've never filmed before. I've only been here once and I've had a look around it. It's absolutely cool. A little bit of a village. There is some really old stuff down here that I want to show you. We've got a church and some several other things. So let's get into Dodford itself and go and explore it. So here we are, we're a bit more into Dodford now. This is actually Dodford Village Hall. We've got the road onto the corner here. And we've got some interesting stuff just right away to there. We've got some old houses. I think one of them's a National Trust. We'll go and take a look at it. I don't think it is open. It's a holiday cottage. So I think you have to book a tour around there. We're going to show the outside of it because I did see some really old dates of the houses right away down there. I haven't seen this before, this is actually the village hall. So sometimes when it's open, I bet you can just go in there, they do community things where you go in, meet new people. It's quite interesting. So the next place we're gonna take a look at in a second is a church right away down the road. So we're gonna go down there, check out that loop all the way around. We're gonna show you all the houses down to there, which are really old, so it's gonna be the interesting one. So here's a Google map for you of Dodford itself. You can just see the way it's laid out. We've got several roads leading from different corners. As in locked squares, you can just see Rosa Dean. That's actually where we're going to be heading to after the church. It's actually a national trust which actually does date back. So we're heading to Holy Trinity and St Mary's Church. You see, Dodford really does stretch all the way around. We've got some pubs. Imagine there is some really interesting things over here. I've just seen that the Monarch's Way path also leads down to the bottom of here. So it says Monarch's Way, that leads all the way up to there. So not only that, I can imagine there's quite a lot of walking routes around here. Let's go and check out the church and go and see what it's like. So here we are, we're at the church at Dodford. Absolutely amazing, just onto the corner of it. It's different architecture to the ones that I've seen before. Check out this. So we can just see the wall has got like all these stones into there, a bit of concrete. I mean, when you look at the other churches, they're built different. But this one's absolutely awesome. Viewing all the way to the top, we've got some patterns up to there. We even got a sculpture sticking out the wall. See what the other side of it is actually like. But you see the whole lot of it is just all stone leading all the way down and concrete. 
Let's carefully put my camera up there and see what's inside the church itself. I don't know whether that is actually open. I might see if we can get into the church in a little while. But we'll roll around here and see what the back area is actually like for it. So there is a bit of maintenance work going on for the church itself. You can just see the bell tower away to the top. Let's go and see if it's actually open. And you can see quite a lot of maintenance work going on. Ah, it's actually locked. So it's quite sad you can't go in the church today here, but you can just see viewing from the outside the porch to go right away in. There's some really lovely patterns up to there if I were to zoom in to show you. Wow, look at the patterns into there. And the style of it going all the way to the door entrance is really cool. And you've got this corner here, so there is another door to go right away in. That's awesome. This is different style to the other churches what I've ever seen before. So right, as we come round this side, you see the church just comes onto this corner. We've also got one of those weather things right away at the top. Mm, what's in there? Wow, there's actually an underneath the church. Hello? That goes right away to the bottom, isn't it? It's absolutely so cool. Don't think it's open. No. So, right, we've got some information about the church. It says here, the present church, built in the arts and crafts perpendicular style in 1907-8, replaced a wooden building in Church Road. The architect of the new church was Arthur E. Bartlett. The interior contains much work by the craftsmen, the Bromsgrove Guild. The architect of a Grade two listed building, it features in Simon Jenkins England's 1000 Best Churches. And it says there, another one, Best British Churches, 2011. Here's some photos of the church itself. So one of them is actually in 1908, before consecration. And one of them is actually in September 2014. We've also got a photo of inside the church. So that is really cool to see that. I bet it's really nice to go in there and check out the architecture of the ceiling going right away to the top. It is really cool to see it's actually grey two listed. Let's go have a look around the church one more time and go and show you the outside of it. So here we go, this really do love the architecture of this church itself, the windows onto the corner. I know they're not stained glass, but they're so different to the other ones what I've ever seen. I mean the wall on the outside. Moving all the way around, we've got this like, little outbit to the church, whether it's the parish office. And then further at the back corner, you just see the graveyard stretching all the way to the back. Here's more parts of the church itself. wonder what it looks like around this corner. Oh wow, that is absolutely so cool. There's actually one of the front windows for the church. Patterns right the way at the top. And you can just see AMDC, July 25th, 1907. That is a really old date. So right, that's Dodds for Church, really interesting to see that right away up to there. So there we go, we've got a really old uh, board sign here, Dodd for Church. We're actually heading to Rosadine now, let's go and check out down that road and have a look at the houses. There's really lots of history behind Dodford and I'll tell you a bit more about it.
But there we are, this is the road that I actually wanted to show you, it's absolutely so cool. There's bits and pieces of history down here, so if I pan around to show you, you can just see the road, what leads all the way to the bottom, goes in a massive straight line. And I think Rosa Dean's just onto the corner here, so go and check it out. So here we are, here's a little cottage called Rosa Dean, it says for National Trust, visits by prior appointment only, telephone that number there. So if you are interested, definitely give it a call and see if you can get permission to go around this place. I was never coming down and the gate was actually open to have a quick look. But there we go, there's a little cottage right around to the corner. I'm not too sure if you can walk onto the land. But yeah, the gate was slightly open, but I can just see the place is open. I mean, if I just quickly zoom in, you can just see the patterns right away at the top there. It's absolutely so cool. I think there was lots of dates and history behind this. So I might actually drop the links in the description for you. But that's actually an old one that I wanted to show you. So there is actually another really old one there. If I just zoom in, the house on the corner there, it's got a date of 18, I don't know if that's 1870 something. It's got a name onto there, but I can't see it from very close. Stapleford, that's an old one. If we just get back on our bike and roll down the road, I think there is some more old ones just down to there. No guys, it says Stapleford, 1954. I've had a zoom in onto the sign. I did think it was the 1800. It does look like it for me. But it says 1954. Wow, the sunshine. But I pan around to show you one more time. You can just see the top of the building. There's a really, really old one right away behind me. So I'll show you that one as I go back up the road. So right, I just want to see what's further down here. We've never been even further before. So we're going to check it out. But there is some new build houses down to here. I've just noticed this one. I think that one's old. Primrose Cottage just right around to the corner. I can't see it because of all the overgrowth, but I did see it coming down the road. There is another driveway there with another house. I like the front there, the old post box just onto the corner. That is really cool. So uh, I think some of these now are just modern builds. Yeah, that one's a modern one. Something over there, then I couldn't catch what that even was. But I think it does lead to a farm, if I remember. Got another one there, that's another modern house. But there is, if you look in careful detail, it does tell you on the internet there is some really old houses down there that I really do date back a bit, like that Rosa Dean house. But there is a really old farm I think I'm coming to. Yeah, it does go down there. That's actually called Victoria Road. It leads right away to the bottom. There is actually another road leading right away to the top. I can just see. That does view really old. Check out the building. If I just zoom in to show you, that is a really, really old farmhouse. It's actually called Woodside Farm, units one to 12. You're going to see what's down here. I do find it really interesting exploring roads though, because you really do find lots of old history. I mean, I've also just found another one similar to the Rosa Dean one. I don't know if it's actually a new build, but it's actually in the same style. If I just zoom in to show you, you've got that cool pattern right away at the top. Some very old chimneys. It might have been a really old building, but they've had to like remodernise it because of the state of it. There's some really old garages for it right away at the back, really overgrown. I think that is actually Chadsey Woods right away at the back over there. That's actually another nice place to visit if you've never been. Wow, another big house on top of the hill. Let's go and see what's down here. Right, I think it loops all the way back around. Like I mentioned on Google Maps earlier, the roads are really strange for Dodford. They're going like squares in some places. So it's led me to some more back areas. Oh, we've got a public footpath here. Let's just check it out. Here we are. This also gives you some footpath ideas if you want to find some new walks. This looks a cool one. Public footpath, chartists walk and foresters walk. So I'm guessing it goes right away into Chadsey Woods, right away at the back. Might have to check out that one more time soon. I've also been to Chadsey Woods and had a nice walk all the way around it but not filmed it. I've only filmed part of it the once. So yeah, if you want to see Chadsey Woods, drop it in the comments. I'll get my brother Dill to bring me down in the car, do a bit of filming on an evening and check it out. I mean, you can see there is some uh, old barn units just right around the corner. And also an old box saying the barn. So I think all this is actually linked up to that farm, what I showed you down there, the really old one. I really want to walk that now, it looks absolutely beautiful. So right, let's tell you a bit of information about Dodford. So it says here, Dodford, Worcestershire, is a village in the Bromsgrove district of Worcestershire. 
England, approximately 3 miles 4.8 kilometres west of Bromsgrove, officially founded on the 2nd of July 1849. So there we go, this place really does date back a bit, 1849. It goes to show some of the buildings are really old over here, some of them, some of them are modern like I mentioned earlier, by members of the Chartist movement. It was one of the five settlements created in the land scheme and retains a characteristic grid street plan along with narrow lanes and many plum and pear trees from its market. There we go, I've actually just found more fruit trees just right away back as you can just see. I did see tons right away down there. So once more it's really interesting to read that and it says here the civil parish of Dodford with Grafton has a population of 731. So it says here, Holy Trinity and St Mary's Church. It's got a photo on Wikipedia, which is really interesting. Also got a map there just to show you. So from London, it's actually 122 miles away. I mean, when you view of it, London doesn't seem that far realistically compared if you go to a place like Cornwall, what's really further away. Going all the way down. So it says here, Medieval and Early Modern Dodford. Dodford was the site of Dodford Priory. I did see Dodford Priory earlier. I don't know if I actually showed it from the outside, but I did see some old buildings just peeking right the way out. I think somebody lives in there, that's why I didn't go onto the land. Dodford for a time fell within Feckenham Forest. When its boundaries were extended, uh, usually by Henry II, to encompass much of North Worcestershire, including Dodford and Chadsey Corbett. So you've got Chadsey Woods and the Chadsey Corbett area right the way over the back over to there. The area was removed from the Forest Law in 1301, wow that's really dating back a bit, in the reign of Henry III when the boundaries were moved back. This is really interesting, it does mention it, a screenshot on there for you now so you can actually read it. It mentions a date of 1464 and something there, a canon remained here and was ordered by Edward to be absorbed into the pre monastation monastery of Hells Owen. So it's really interesting to see some information about Hales Owen one more time. You know, Hales Owen Abbey, how far that really does date back. And seeing the ruins of it today, it's a shame you can't really get close to that one, but I would love to go close, see what the history of it is really close by, seeing the detail into the walls. Because imagine Hales Owen Abbey has lots and lots of history behind it. So there is more stuff around it. It says Baptist Chapel and Mission Church. So it says here, a Baptist chapel was founded, but now closed. A mission church was consecrated in 1863 and it actually stood where the village hall is. So you may have seen me go past the village hall where I started the video off sort of. That's actually where the Baptist chapel and mission church was actually situated. So there is a school around it. It says Dodford School and that is a really old date. Dodford School was founded in 1877. It's now a first school teaching children from across Bromsgrove to the age of nine. I'm not too sure where that is around here, but I think it has got some really old buildings to it. So I did show you some information about the Holy Trinity and St Mary. I will drop a link in the description in case you're interested to read more about it. There's so much information about Dodford. But it says here, going back to the Rosadine building, so you can just see a photo on for you now of it one more time. Dodford is now a conservation area, including a number of Chartist cottages and the Church of the Holy Trinity and St Mary. Rosadine, an example of a Chartist cottage at Dodford, is owned and managed by the National Trust. So I think you can book an appointment to go around there. Now I did come back here with Jules. I had to look around here to see if it was actually worth filming. And I went to the gate to go and have a look at it wasn't allowed around there but the woman said you could have a look around the orchard garden so I was going to go and check it out get my camera out but then the woman said she was leaving said you gotta book an appointment so we didn't really bother going back to check it out but I will see if I can definitely get into there and show you inside it it does look absolutely really cool and there we go lots of information behind Dodford it's a really interesting place to see on their listed buildings I'll have one more ride around and see what else we can actually see but it's a really cool area. If you've never been here, then definitely come and check it out. There's some nice walking spots to go to Chadsey Woods. You can walk all these lanes going all the way around. Let's have one more look of it and go and check it all out. So happy though that I've got that thing running. I really am. I don't know what I'll do without it really, because it gets you to places like this. You can cover more history, cover more areas where you've never been before. It's absolutely so useful. <laughs> Oh, 
Right, that was a dead end. Leads absolutely nowhere. There is a footpath down there, but it's absolutely overgrown. See what's down here. So, right, I'm going to go back the way I come from. Let's turn right up to here. Here we are, back down that road again. I think this is the road where all the listed buildings are actually situated. I checked on the maps, there is some more, just a bit further out the area a little bit. Did see uh, something derelict over there then. But what an absolutely lovely road. It's nice to cycle these, actually you get no cars or nothing. Yeah, definitely go and check out that National Trust. It's really interesting. I'm going to check it out myself, phone the number and see when it's actually open. So that's actually just there on the corner. So I'll have a look at that soon. So right, there is actually another really, really old house just onto the corner here, past the Rosa Dean. There's another really old farmhouse. Looks like it dates to the 1800s. This really do love the style of these buildings. As you know, some of the buildings were there when the village was really much more smaller, back in the very, very old days. So, right, going down another road now. Wow, it's absolutely amazing round here. Imagine living round here, it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm not too, too sure where this road really leads to. I'm just taking it and seeing what's down here. I think that one's also a bit modernised. That really does look like it dated back a bit that house there into the corner. Got some just coming up. So I think it does come to an end here once more. So right, yes it does. It comes to another end. Because it is actually bringing us back on that road from where we come from to get out of Dodford. So I think it loops right back up to there. And I'm sure that is a dead end. I'm not too sure, let's go and see. Like I always say, it's always worth checking places out. You never know where they lead to. Right. So right, that road was actually bringing us back out of Dodford. Just taking the public broad away to actually see where it actually ends up. Not too sure. Did say public broad away. So yeah, it is. It's actually a public broad away. I'm not too sure where it even leads. You see it goes into some fields now. But I tell you what, it's just absolutely beautiful over here. I can just see the, the farmer over there with his tractor doing the fields at the moment. Can see right went to the distance. There is another big woodman, whether that is actually Pepper Woods. I think it's Pepper Woods, guys. But yeah, if you would definitely want to come and check Dodd for that, I'll drop the pin in the description for you. So definitely go on your Google Maps and come and check it out for yourselves, guys. You might find more than what I have done. Because it's better when you come in car and explore it by foot. Can you take all the paths that lead all to the woodland areas? I tell you what, it's lovely. It's a nice place, something new, what I've never ever filmed before. And there we go, Dodford. What a cool place that was to explore. I'm trying to find as much new places where I've never been as possible. And this is one that I've always gone past, but never, you know, had interest to go and check it out because I thought it never led anywhere. But it's an interesting village. Lots of history, some of it really dating back a bit. But I'm back on the Dordale Road. Been down here a few times, been down to Chadstickall, but that way. You've got Fairfield, Bromsgrove. That's actually another interesting place, Fairfield. So when I've got the time, I'll go down that way, cover some broader ways and history in the Fairfield itself. But Pepper Woods is just literally up there, so we might have a quick cycle, have a little bit of cycling in the woods, chill out, and then I think we'll just head back home from there. So we've got to now cycle all back down one of the roads and go to Bell Bruton, which is not too, too far, actually. Wow, here we go, guys. I've actually made it to Clent Hills, believe it or not. 
drag me all the way up the steep hills to get to the top area for Nimmins. I just really do love it up here. The views are so spectacular. You've got the views of the black country right away in the distance. It's full of wildlife at the moment. You can hear all the wildlife down into the wooded areas. There's a massive fire over there. I've just noticed that when I came up. So if I do go to the top, I will get some nice cinematics for you towards the end of the video. So what I am going to do is go to the top of Clent Hills right away to the top. See if there's a bench to sit down if it's not too, too busy. Get my phone and I'll do some zoom around all the areas towards the end of the video now. So enjoy the rest of it and thank you very much for watching. And don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button if you are new. I'm going to, to try and get to as many places as possible. And I've had a good idea actually. What I am planning to do with this bike, what I think I'm going to do when I've got all the parts, what I need for it, when everything's up to scratch onto the bike itself. I'm going to invest and get myself another spare battery to pop in my bag. I know it's not too, too heavy, but I think if I carry a spare one, we are going to double our chances of going even further, to be fair. So it might be worth an idea to carry two batteries at least. So it's then we're not too, too bad for journeys. But overall, it can really get to some really far ranges. To say I've got from Dodford all the way to Clent Hills, not with some steep hills. And I've got 50% left on the battery. It could probably still get me all the way down the bottom of Clent and all the way back up the Agri Road to where I was going. So at the end of the day, I'm going to have to say it's really good for the range. Well, enjoy the rest of the cinematics and see you soon.